Hello students, welcome to Ask Prep. My name is Sakshi and now we are going to start with chapter one, diversity in living world. I hope the previous chapter was clear to you. In case of any doubts, please reach out to us through the comment section. And also our upcoming batch is starting soon. So you can always reach out to us for that too. Right, so now uh, we are going to start with the diversity in living world. So, uh, what does the word diversity means? Diversity ka matlab hota hai, variety. In the living world means ki jitte bhi living organisms hain hamare around. We are not categorizing uh, plants or microorganism or animals. We are talking about all of them here, right? So now in this chapter, what are we going to talk about? We will talk about the characterization, characteristics of life, diversity, nomenclature, what is the need of uh, nomenclature and various classification. Unko kaise kaise different steps mein, different levels mein hum organize karte hai, kaise unko classify karte hai. We'll talk about it in this chapter. So first of all, we'll uh, start with the diversity. Diversity ka matlab hai, we have just spoken about it. The diversity means the variety. Bio ka matlab hai, which is the living right it uh, we include all we include the plants we include the animals we include the microorganisms and all right so biodiversity means the variety of life forms jitni bhi hai chahe wo chote se chota creature hai ya wo bade se bada hai un sab ki variety that exist on the earth right ab Kya zarurat hai itne sare organisms ki? What is the requirement of so many plants, the variety of plants, the variety of microbes, the variety of animals, aquatic animals? Kya zarurat hai? Just to maintain the, it is very, very important to maintain the ecological balance on the earth. Ecological balance matlab ki uh, jaise humara environment hai, Uske under ek balance maintain karne ke liye, it is very important to have this biodiversity and it is directly and indirectly affecting each and every organism on earth, right? So now, uh, and also it is uh, important for preventing species extinction in one way to preserve the biodiversity. Uh, extinction ka kya matlab hai? Wo species jo, uh, is, which do not exist on the earth anymore. Now we know that, uh, let's talk about the dinosaur, the dodo birds. Ab ye pehle present hai, but ab they do not exist. So when we want to know about it, we are very curious about the dinosaurs. There are a lot of movies and shows that have been made to to express the curiosity of human about the existence of dinosaurs. So, but un sabke bare mein janne ke liye, it is a lot of effort that has been put now. So, because those are extinct species. Had it been present on the earth, then it would have been much more easier to know about it, to learn more about it, and to learn about their impact on the environment, and so on. So that is why the biodiversity is very, very important in our life. Now, in this diagram, we can see the uh, Arctic region, the xerophytic region, the grasslands, the forest, the various uh, places where the life form exists. Or in sub jaga pe jaise wo exist karte hain, to unke kya benefits hain, kaise manage karte hain wo in those areas and in all those places, the variety which is present, we are going to talk about in this chapter. Now, characteristics of all the living organism. Ab, jo bhi cheez, jo ek living ko non-living se distinguish karti hai, these are the, those characters. Right, which are seen in all the living organisms, chahe wo koi microorganism hai, ya wo koi plant hai, ya herb hai, ya shrub hai, ya tree hai, ya fir koi climber hai, ya wo insects hai, ya reptiles, ya mammals, whatever it is. So all the living organisms, they show these kind of characteristics. We are going to talk about in details now. So first of all, let's talk about the growth. 
ग्रोथ जब हम छोटे थे वी वर लाइक अ बेबी एंड देन वी स्टार्ट ग्रोइंग टॉलर एंड बिगर इन साइज नाउ व्हाट डज द ग्रोथ मींस ग्रोथ इज अ इंक्रीज इन द मास ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट अकर ड्यू टू इंक्रीज इन द सेल साइज एंड सेल नंबर सो एज इट इज एज द ऑर्गेनिज्म ग्रो द मोर एंड मोर सेल्स दे स्टार्ट प्रोड्यूसिंग इनसाइड द बॉडी एंड दे फंक्शन अकॉर्डिंगली and the number also increase and then there is a bone elongations and all in case of animals we have seen growth in the plants as well aisa nahi hai ki sirf animals hi grow karenge aur plants nahi karenge here is a diagram if you saw a seed then this it start germinating and then eventually grow up to a big plant we have studied it in the junior classes and uh, we have seen dogs the pets around us so jab hum pet chhota sa hota hai usko lekar aate hain and within no time then it shoots up the height and then grows up to this big so growth is something which is seen in all the organism now if i tell you to imagine your pen or a chair right you leave it for like 2 weeks 3 weeks 1 month 1 year will it ever grow in size the pen or the chair or the table no so growth is not seen in the non living organism it is only observed in the living however the smaller size they may be okay all the living organisms show growth right so next is the reproduction reproduction is another uh, characteristic that is shown by all the living organism chahe we talk about the smaller organism jaise ki amoeba amoeba ki binary fusion we have studied in the junior classes also ki a parent uh, this is the parent amoeba and then it's got the pseudopodia and then what happened the nucleus splits into two and then later the cytoplasm and hence two daughter amoebas are formed right this we have studied in the junior classes now also this kind of uh, uh, asexual reproduction is shown in hydra as well that also we have done in our junior classes ki parent uh, hydra hai then it appears the bud and then when the bud bud uh, grows enough that it can survive on its own then it gets detached from the parent and start growing by itself so these are the types of asexual reproduction but in the higher organisms the sexual reproduction is seen in which both the parents are involved not one parent but two parents are involved one is a male and one is a female and hence they produce their own kind jaise ki yahan pe lion ka cub sheep ka lamb right this we have uh, we know about it right so the process by which living organism produce new organism of their own kind apne hi jaise aur ko multiply kar karke banana is the reproduction it is also seen in the plants as well like hum ek seed uh, lete hain jisko hum sow karte hain and then it starts growing right and sometimes uh, we have studied that uh, in the vegetative reproduction also you take a stem cutting and then you put it in the soil and it starts growing into the same plant jisse bhi wo cutting li gayi hai right grafting layering are the other processes in case of plants also so uh, this reproduction is also one thing which is shown by all the living organisms yeast ke bare mein humne padha hai ki jaise yeast hai under the normal environment which is used in baking and uh, cakes and all तो यीस्ट को लिया जाता है अंडर द फेवरेबल कंडीशन इट आल्सो स्टार्ट्स मल्टीप्लाइंग सो यीस्ट इज अगेन अ वेरी वेरी माइक्रोस्कोपिक ऑर्गेनिज्म राइट सो दीज माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स दे आल्सो शो रिप्रोडक्शन लाइक वी हैव डन इन द ग्रोथ सेक्शन कि अगर हम वी टॉक अबाउट द टेबल और अ चेयर सो हम एक चेयर को अगर छोड़ दें कि भाई यू हैव सिक्स मंथ्स लीव दिस चेयर हेयर and will it multiply into the another one no it won't so this reproduction is also not shown by the non living organism which is shown by the living next characteristic is the consciousness consciousness ka matlab kya hai ki jo hamare around ho raha hai we have the ability to sense what is going on around us and then respond according to that right jaise hame bhi सर्दी लग रही है वी पुराना जैकेट गर्मी लग रही है वी स्विच ऑन द फैन 
right? And you touch something or uh, hot, you immediately retract your hand. Like here, we can see it. So here, this is the pricks of the cactus if it has been touched by the hand. So immediately the senses we have and then we withdraw our hand from that, right? Yes, this is something which is there, which is hurting my hand. So we immediately withdraw our hand. We also respond to uh, the wind also. Ki tez hawa chal rahi hai. We need to protect ourselves. Excess of light hai kahi se. Bohat tez light aa rahi hai. Our eyes quickly shut themselves. Right? So this is the response of the human uh, we are talking about. The same is observed in the animals as well. Agar aapke zar mein pet hai, you can always... Uh, try something uh, with your pet. Uh, I'm sure Jada usko hurt nahi karna hai. Just for the trial, if you put something, if you, the pet also sees that there is a fire over here, and then uh, he also, uh, the pet also withdraws himself from the fire because the the animals also sense ki ye something, it is something hot, ye kuch, uh, it is not good for my body, and I should just keep myself away from that. Right, something pricky is there, the animals also don't go there. Right, so same is shown by the plants also. Okay, this kind of movement, what do we call this kind of movement? When it, the plant moves towards the light, it is called a phototropic movement. Photo means light and the movements which are shown by the plant. So here, when the bulb is right above, the plant is growing straight up. When the bulb is moved to the side, so it, due to the phototropic movement, it turns, the stem is turned and moved towards it. We also know about this touch me not plant, right? Touch me not plant, mein kya hota hai? I'm sure uh, uh, when you touch it, the leaves are uh, wide open initially, but the moment you touch it, the leaves curl themselves. So there are some chemicals inside that release it uh, at the time of touching and they sense it and then they curl themselves, right? So these type of consciousness are also shown by the uh, all the living organisms, right? Now about the respiration. Respiration we know is a very, very important part in all the organisms. Uh, the chemical process organism used to release the energy from food which typically involves the consumption of oxygen and release of carbon dioxide. Ab isse kya nikalta hai? Isse ATPs nikalte hai, which are essential for the functioning of the body. Here are the different uh, parts or the organs through which the living organisms, they respirate. In some smaller organisms where the organs are, uh, they, they lack the organ, then uh, they show it through the body surface or the cell membrane, the skin, the tracheal, lungs, uh, organisms, some the aquatic do it with the gills and so on, right? So this respiration is not only seen in the animals, it is seen in the plants as well, right? So respiration again is a very, very important part of all the living organisms. Okay, so this is all about the various uh, processes that are shown by the living organisms that makes them different from the non-living ones, right?